Welcome back. We're talking about Quarto and we're very excited about the things you can do with Quarto. You can create reproducible documents in our studio using Quarto that weaves together executable code and narrative elements. And we're talking today specifically about those narrative elements, right? In the last video, we talked about code chunks and how to control the code and what happens to the code and does it execute, does it show, et cetera, et cetera. In this video, we're going to talk about all the text on the screen, how to include hyperlinks and citations and how to make columns, et cetera, et cetera. So buckle up, this is going to be good fun. Let's do this, boom shakalaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. Just so that you know, this is a series of videos. At the end of it, you're going to be able to do everything that I can in Quarto. You're going to have a lot of fun. You can produce pages like the one you're looking at at the moment. It's an HTML output. You can produce PDFs. You can produce Word documents. You can also produce lovely dashboards like this, uh, which are interactive. And of course, you can produce PDFs that have got references in them, etc., etc. So lots of fun to be had, lots of, lots to be learned, lots to be done. Let's do this. Boom shakalaka. So let's go over to our studio and look at how it is that we created the page that you're looking at right now. At the top, of course, we've got our YAML. In the next video, we going to do a deep dive on YAML. You can do a lot with that. But underneath that, we've got our first narrative element, and this is just text over here. And it's important to note that in a lot of ways, at this point, you're working with this just with a word processor, right? You've got all of the menus at the top here. They pull down menus. You can change the heading style. You've got formatting styles, etc., etc. You've got lots of insert options. And uh, it's, it really is uh, very, very intuitive. We'll start off by talking about how to create a link. If I wanted to highlight that text over there, I might want to link that to a URL and it would become a hyperlink as it would in any other document. You might also want to link it to some other part of the document itself, right? So you could have a hyperlink to another heading in your document. You can of course insert pictures. There's a nice little icon there. You hit browse, you find the image on your hard drive and it'll stick it into your document. You can also insert things like uh, citations and footnotes and cross references. I'm going to talk a little bit about citations because I think that is what a lot of people want to know about. So here's an example of a couple of citations that are popped in and you can click on the citation. It takes you down to a bibliography that of course Quarto will produce for you. How do we create these citations? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, let me show you. The easiest way to create a citation is we go to insert, we go to citation. Here we can do a search in any of these data sets or databases. We hit the little plus, then say insert, and it pops the citation into our text. Now, a few things happen when R creates the citation. First of all, it creates a reference bib uh, file, and you can see it's here in our files, reference bib, and I've opened that up, and here it is over here. And this keeps all the information automatically of the reference.